We have some weird stuff to check out, guys. I guess this video is kind of like game news, event news. Yeah, we've got a few things to cover. The first one here is from RBX Event Hunters. They said a weird picture was uploaded to the official Roblox group titled Lobby for the Classic, 5th of June 2024. The date leads to tomorrow. Well, at the time of uploading this video, that's going to be like two days ago, I think. And also, I just want to say when they posted this, it was actually on the day. So um, yeah, I think they made a mistake there. But anyway, the picture in question, what the heck is going on you can see we've got a classic spawn point some roblox logo tokens in red though so different from the tokens from the classic and they're in this map and you have to collect them or something i've got no idea what this is but this was uploaded like you know literally two days ago so this is weird this is something new got a helper bot like a little poster over there yeah i've got no idea let me know what you think this is down below in the comment section could this be hinting towards the classic part two maybe maybe not this is definitely something strange though there was some guy in the replies saying this was linked to the roblox industry space i just want to say i did check this game out i found a pretty cool section on roblox's history but apart from that guys i couldn't find any part of the map which resembles this picture so i don't know i could be wrong uh, i could have missed it if you guys want to check it out i'll link it down below but yeah i tried to do a bit more research about this thing and uh, i couldn't find anybody else which um you know knew what it was i just want to say this roblox game is actually really funny because look it's got the um the queso guy i don't know if you know him you probably know him he's like ultra famous like the big streamer guy it's got him there sitting at like the uh, desk with all of the admins why the heck is that there that's so funny here's a bit more information about the asset if you guys are curious so that's the asset id that's when it was created the official group of roblox this is some interesting stuff lobby for the classic i guess we'll have to wait and see if this becomes anything i kind of doubt it will though no we also had some other event news but i just want to say i think this is fake or a fan project so this was posted by netpunk um egg hunt 2025 on twitter i'm pretty sure he's just making an egg hunt game for next year but he did say the 15th of june 2024 something is happening like some game is opening or something so as you can see here 10 days well yeah a lot of people were getting really excited about this but i don't think this is official like some people were tagging me in this saying to check it out yeah i think this is a fan-made game these guys didn't just like say it was which is maybe a bit misleading i found the event anyway 1.4k interested oh look there's somebody with a shark box profile picture i wonder who that is but yeah it's good grand opening happening this saturday this is not official guys it really does look official though imagination initiative as well this genuinely looks like a real event but yeah don't get tricked by it i mean to be fair it could be something cool but yeah roblox is not behind this i mean i can even show you guys the group this whole project is made by somebody called virtual awards and if you go to his profile he's not an admin i guess he just really enjoyed the classic and wanted to make his own but yeah as i said they probably should have disclosed that this event was a fan project um because i can't see that anyway and that's probably why people are thinking it's real okay up next we have more news about the minions event so despicable me 4 is coming to roblox tomorrow or probably today when i upload this video so they've got a whole game called the heist obby and honestly it looks kind of cool it's got the minions in there and everything the only thing about this is the free items some of them are lead clothing and not only that guys they're gonna be ugc limited which i know is kind of cool in a way because you know you can collect them and sell them or whatever for us youtubers though making videos about udc limited it just sucks if you think about it right once we've got the item once we've edited the video once we've uploaded it that video is only like worth watching for like the first few hours it's out because after that the whole stock's just going to be gone to be fair though if all of these have 100k stock i would actually be very happy over that but the chances are guys they're probably going to have like 5k or something so yeah i don't know if the stock's really good i'll make a video if it's terrible i'll probably just skip it i'll leave a link to this event down below in the video's description it actually looks like somebody's playing it right now so um yeah i guess they're getting it ready we had something else joining roblox as well the loud house apparently it's like a nickelodeon tv show thing there's the prizes as well so like a bow tie a backpack a guitar thing not really something i care about yes yeah, so i just searched it on google images i kind of feel like i've seen this before i don't think i've watched an episode though i think i've just seen the characters i could be wrong guys correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think it's very popular so yeah if you're a fan of the loud house whatever the the heck it is i guess you can play it on roblox soon there was something else joining as well oh this is a bit more popular and um, how do you say this bear's name mono kuma i think that's how you say it it's from an anime this is also going to be a ugc item i think and then also what's even more strange is looney tunes is joining roblox with their own like uh ugc accessories or ugc limiteds and you can see they've got the skunk character so if you're a fan of these yeah i guess there'll be ugc limited events fairly soon we also have sour patch kids i'm not gonna lie i do like these sweets they're pretty good especially the 
red ones. I feel like these are really bad for your teeth though. So yeah, don't eat too many. Also, those headphones look a bit dodgy, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, the Sour Patch Kids are um, joining Roblox and they're having their own UGC event. So yay. I would imagine the stock on these not being too good. And there was this as well. Uh, shout out to Mark on. I have to admit though, I think these are probably gift card items, maybe rather than event items, but they do have Walmart names in the title. So one of the items is called literally Walmart item. Yeah, that's strange because I have to admit, they don't really look like Walmart things. I mean, one of them is like um, prawns or shrimps on a skewer, which is a bit weird. And then the other one's like some skeleton battle helmet. And then we've got some scythe axe back accessory with an eyeball in the middle. So I guess these will be coming soon. We'll have to wait and see. Probably gift card stuff though. And I think this is the final game news for today's video. Bloxburg is going to be free soon, apparently. And now the only reason why I'm including this in today's video is because it's kind of funny, right? You know Bloxburg has always been 25 Robux. Well, apparently some of the people which bought access are now complaining and they want the 25 Robux back. Bruh, people are so stupid. Why are people complaining about 25 Robux? Honestly, just go and play Please Donate or something if you're that desperate. I have heard rumors people have been disliking the game as well because apparently they're going to be losing 25 Robux, which just sounds insane. I swear you can make 25 Robux in like 10 minutes. Like who the heck cares? Anyway, yeah, that's all of the Roblox game and event news and stuff. Um, I guess some of it's kind of cool. Some of it's a bit weird. Most of the UGC limited events though, and um, I'm just getting a bit sick of them really.